guys welcome back to another video so for those of you guys that didn't know level the society and myself we hosted a toy drive at our warehouse it was very short notice but we wanted to give back to the community since personally this year has been a great trading year for me as you guys obviously can tell by the title of this video and not just that we just wanted to give back to the community which is a form of us showing our appreciation to all the success that we've had obviously a lot of it's been because of our own work but at the same time it's, it always feels good to give back especially to those that are a lot less fortunate than us so we have a bunch of toys in the raptor behind us and we're gonna go donate them all right now to charity so baka put in a few clips of the toy drive here Yeah, it was a super short last minute notice event. I want to thank everybody that did come out and donate toys. For those of you guys that are watching this video, I appreciate every single person that came out and donated toys and obviously gave toys to the charities that we're about to go give them to. So it's going to be super dope. Yeah, there's people asking if we could ship it, uh, if they could ship toys in. But then like logistically speaking, by the time the toys were coming to shipping, the charity event would already be closed. Well, we're not going to like an event right but basically we're just kind of going to the charities now we're going to drop off and donate all of these toys again you know it's christmas it's a season of giving so we definitely wanted to host a toy drive to give to those kids that are a little bit less fortunate than everybody else so we're on our way there now and as you guys can tell by the title of this video i'm pretty much just going to be simplifying my trading methodology for this year and in November, I'll show you guys how I made a $300, $317,000. I started this account with $150,000. Have already withdrawn $105,000 and the account balance right now is sitting at $362,000, which is super dope. $150K deposit, $317,000 profit, leaving the account balance, or $105,000 withdrawal, leaving the account balance at three sixty-two. dollars and as you guys can see, it's a real server. Obviously, it's a live account. It's connected to real liquidity. So what we're going to be doing at the end of this video is basically we're going to be breaking down my entire methodology for um, this year. Basically, I'm just going to be simplifying it for you guys and going over how I made this profit because I traded towards the end of October into like late November. And in that time span is when um i ended up making all of that profit and it was only 15 trading days which is super dope we'll go over the trade keep statistics and everything and then we'll get into the breakdown but other than that i mean december me personally i've never really i haven't traded december in the last two years i didn't trade this december i was gonna trade this december just because i saw there being a lot of opportunity but i didn't want to because i wanted to put all my focus and effort into dti 2.0 so the first launch of the day trading institution was absolutely fantastic in terms of student success we've had about a 74 success rate meaning that 74 percent of the people that invested into the day trading institution got a return on their investment plus way more and that's how we measure our success not just that this year alone two students have turned consistently profitable from going to a from a nine to five job from going and becoming a full-time day trader example claudio the last podcast that we did he had a nine to five job made forty forty thousand dollars in a month and then a few weeks after that made forty thousand dollars in a day he was ft most highest paid trader two times in a row which is an absolute blessing um i'm super honored to be able to say that i helped get him there right and obviously like being a part of people's success journey is 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 what's ultimately more rewarding but this december i decided to just take a 100 percent deep dive into dti 2.0 so for those of you guys that don't know what DTI 2.0 is, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should be following me on Instagram, DTI 2.0 is basically a big revamp of the online course. We're increasing the quality production, and we're also increasing the type of material that we have inside of the course in terms of content. So DTI 2.0 is going to be super dope. I put a lot of effort into DTI 2.0. Baka has as well because he's editing all the videos that are going to be added onto DTI 2.0 on top of the already course curriculum that we have. Not just that, 
we're also going to be looking at implementing live trading so every single new york session while i'm going to be trading you guys will be trading alongside of me in dti 2.0 so we could potentially be taking the same trades together so on top of the already lengthy course curriculum that we have i'm actually increasing adding more content and increasing the quality of the content as well and then on top of like i said the webinars that we have we do webinars roughly three four times every single week to review q a webinars inside of the day trading institution we're also looking at implementing live trading which that's going to be in the beta phase which we are going to start in january and we're going to see how that goes and then on top of that we literally have like the best discord community everybody's so helpful with each other and it's just a super dope experience for every single type of trader it doesn't matter if you're already experienced it doesn't matter if you know nothing about trading like this is why the day trading institution was created and we're simply making it better for dti 2.0 so if you guys want to come and learn from me directly the day trading institution 2.0 is going to launch january 10th now oh, there goes the the, the the battery uh, the battery died so the motor turned on and the day trading institution 2.0 is going to launch january 13th we're only going to allow 100 new people to try and keep the community as small and as exclusive as possible so i'm not spreading myself thin in between hundreds of people except you know i could really focus on just everybody that's inside of the dti and give them as much time and effort as i possibly can and ultimately make more traders such as mitchell make more traders such as claudio where they went from a 95 job to day trading full time I mean, you're talking about it two payouts. Claudio's made over $80,000, which is super dope. I'm glad to see him doing well. And on top of that, I'm proud of him for his hard work. Because at the end of the day, you know, I just provided the content, but he put in the work. And he put in the work, more importantly, that was required to get him where he wanted to be at. So, for those of you guys that are interested and want to join the Day Trading Institution 2.0, start the new year fresh start the new year learning a new skill set or enhance your current skill set that you have the application link will be down in the description for you guys to go ahead and apply other than that we're going to be pulling into the charity here in about 15 minutes so it should be a pretty good event quick christmas cinematic guys so we're here we're gonna donate the rest of the toys to another charity they told us we can't take pictures of the building or the people that are inside of the building obviously and uh, out of respect we will not but we wanted to obviously show you guys that we're at the next location we're gonna donate all of the toys that we have left since this is a bigger charity we're gonna pretty much give them everything versus the other school that we went to with kids with disabilities anyways we're gonna get this done and then i will see you guys for the breakdown all right guys so we're going to be getting straight into the video now i'm going to go over my trade keep results so basically this is my track record that i have for this account and the same exact strategy that i'm about to show you guys right now on trading view is basically what i use to make this profit now quick risk disclaimer these type of results normally aren't normal just because i've been using extra high risk on this specific trading account now keep in mind guys that i have been trading for the last six years and these types of results are not normally results that you should try and go for on a day-to-day -day basis especially with someone that's a little bit more inexperienced i started this account just to kind of try and prove it to myself and challenge myself not just my technical skill but also my psychological skills when it does come to trading so keep in mind these results are not normal now I deposited 150 grand into this trading account and so far the balance is at $362,000 and that's after withdrawing $105,000 from the trading account. So overall right now after withdrawals we have about an 150% ROI which is fantastic and my biggest winning day, my biggest trade was an average of, no, so I have an average of about a 26 thousand dollar gain and an average loss of a six thousand dollar loss which i mean it's pretty great risk to reward as you guys can see average trades in a day was one and a half trades a day average profit per day is twenty thousand dollars profit per day now pretty much i started this account in october so you guys could see some of the trades here 
have some trading done in November. And then this was my last trade in November 29th. I did not trade all of Thanksgiving. So I just wanted to show you guys my results very quick and you guys can see your deposit, withdraw, withdraw. Now, when it comes down to the trading methodology, first and foremost, we start off on the daily time frame and we start marking off our major supply and demand levels based off of the daily time frame. So the first area I'm gonna place is right here and I'm gonna make this blue to signify daily. I'm gonna set another zone right about here where there's current price action. I'm gonna set another zone up here near the highs just in case price continues to go bullish. I'm going to set another zone down here around the lows just in case price actually continues to go bearish. And my entire trading methodology is all based off of probabilities. I'm going to set one there and we can uh, we can actually set one here as well. So these are going to be my daily supply and demand zones. Actually what I'm going to do is modify this and put this down to here. These are going to be my daily supply and demand zones. Now basically what we look at here on the daily time frame is we look at the probabilities for price action right if price action breaks support what's the probability for price action to continue to come down to our next daily level which call it to be right here right so if price action if price action does end up breaking the support range as a high probability of coming down into our next daily support range if price action rejects this area of support as a high probability of coming back up into our resistance level and basically all we're simply doing is playing a game of ping pong so if price let me actually put this back here if price actually does break this support range it'll come down into our next support range if price rejects this support range it has a high probability to come back up into our resistance range all the way up here and that's how we're basically looking at price actions all a game of ping pong so again like let's say price actually does come up and reject and comes down and or does come down reject support comes up into resistance rejects resistance it has a high probability of coming back down into our support range let's say it breaks our support range hits other support range and rejects it, it as a high probability of coming back up to our previous support range which was right here so it's literally all a game of ping pong so that's how i kind of maintain myself on the daily time frame it's like okay well you know if price does reject or break this support it'll come down to the next support and that's kind of where i hypothesize where the daily time frame is actually going to go to but now i don't take trades based off the daily time frame i take trades based off the hour time frame so then what i'll do here on this hour time frame is basically set my intraday levels now with my intraday levels i'm actually going to set a support zone up right about here i'm gonna change the color so i know it's the intraday level I'm going to set another one up right about here and I'm going to set up another intraday level right about here. So in between my daily levels, we have our intraday levels. So when I go down to a 15 minute time frame, because I trade a 15 minute time frame, what I basically look at is the same concept that just take it down to a smaller time frame. It's kind of like, okay, well, if price now has closed under our major support or our intraday support zone, what I'll do is wait on a five minute time frame for price to pull back up into this previous resistance zone, reject it. And if price can successfully reject this resistance zone, what I'll do is I'll look for price to come down into the daily zone because that's going to be our next area. Kind of like what happened over here where we initially saw price kind of come back under this area, pull back up, reject it, and then come back down to the daily range. Now, if price were to actually break above the daily or the intraday zone, which it did here, what I'll wait for is for price to actually go up into the next intraday zone. So literally all I'm doing is trading from zone to zone and that's the same exact concept that I've done. Now, I'm just trying to keep the trading ideology just as simple as possible. I'm not trying to kind of go too crazy or too in depth with it because we'll literally be here for hours. But basically, right, what I'll do is, okay, well, now price is trading under our, our, our 38.26 zone. If price can reject this 38.26 zone, it'll have a high probability of coming back down into our next zone, which is gonna be 3,800. Now, if price were to actually start to break above this zone here, what I'll do is wait for price to pull back down retest since price is overall trending bearish. And if price actually holds that retest, then we'll look to buy it up into the next 38.43 intraday zone. Now, if price breaks above this 38.43 uh, intraday zone, it'll come up into the next intraday zone, which is all the way up here. 
Now, if you look at it from an example over here where we see price break this intraday zone here, essentially what we'll do is wait for price to retest that intraday zone and look to come into the next intraday zone, which is all the way down here. And if price breaks this intraday zone, it'll come into the next intraday zone. And if price breaks this intraday zone, it'll come up into the daily zone. And literally all I'm doing is trading from level to level as simple as possible. So as you guys see here, we had a price break this intraday zone over here, make new highs, pull back down, retest. And then this is the buying opportunity here where essentially now we're looking for price to go up into the next intraday zone. Just trying to keep things as short and as sweet as I possibly can, not trying to overcomplicate it for you guys. All I'm doing is literally trading supply and demand, support and resistance. We're trading from zone to zone and looking for the probability for price to travel up into the next zone compared in, compared to the previous zone that we're actually looking at here so i'm actually going to go back in time a little bit to try and find you guys different examples here so i'm going to go back to the uh the hour time frame here what i'm going to do is kind of mark off these other intraday levels that i see here on this hour time frame so we have an intraday level being here we have another intraday level over here adjust that it's actually just it's right here and then i'm going to leave this here for now so i'm going to go back down to a 15 minute time frame go back to where we were so again the concept stays the same right since price came down rejected our daily zone it has a high probability of coming up into our previous resistance range which is going to be our next intraday resistance range which is all the way up here at 39.53 notice price break above 39.53 make new highs retest 39.53 it's like okay well if price continues to hold 39.53 it has a high probability of coming up into our previous intraday highs or our previous intraday resistance range which it did just that Okay, well now we see price break above this 39.88 range. Let's see if price will actually hold this previous resistance 39.88 range as support. Okay, well price held this 39.88 range as support. We'll look for price to come up into this 40,000 range, right? Which we saw happen over here. And that's literally the entire trading methodology. Now, if we flip things around, okay, well price broke under 39.87 price has a high probability of coming back down into 39.53 as long as 39.87 holds which it did that now that price broke under 39.53 let's see if price can actually hold 39.53 and if price does hold 39.53 it has a high probability of coming down into our next major zone which is going to be 39.20 etc etc then we can look at a different concept over here we have an intraday zone being 38.76 Okay, well, if price continues to hold 38.76, it'll come back down into our next intraday zone being 38.43. But if price were to break above 38.76, we could see it come back up into our next daily zone being 39.20 or possibly even 39.06, right? But since price broke 38.43, it came all the way back down into 38.26, which we saw that. Now look at price break. 38.43 over here what did it do it continued to go up and make new highs didn't reach 38.76 quite there but we also have this kind of major or minor resistance level that we have here which price did end up rejecting but what happened right once price broke back under 38.43 and ended up going back down to our next major or to our next intraday zone being 38.26 then after price breaking 20 or 38.26 price came all the way down into our 37.98 area so all we're doing is we're looking at these major support and resistance ranges and if we just continue to look at probabilities it's like okay well if price breaks this point it'll go higher and come into this point if price rejects this point it'll come back down into this point here and you can see that play out very well we see price break above 38.26 here come back down retest reject and then continue to go up and to make new highs over here then we see price come all the way back down to 38.26 and then come all the way back up then we had a nice break and retest over here where it's okay price is now broken above 38.43 made new highs retest rejected we could see price come all the way up into 38.76 which you saw price do that almost right away and that's basically going to break down the very simple trading ideology that i have here that i'm going to be trading with um going into january and you guys can already see price is just broken price is just broken under this 3826 range came back up retested rejected and now is going down and making new lows so the next projected target for this area right here would be for price to kind of come down into this 37 uh 3800 range here as long as price can break under this minor support range here anyways guys just wanted to give you guys a quick very very simple um trading ideology and we see actually price going down and making new lows there 
Very quick, very simple trading ideology for you guys there. Nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. Other than that, guys, if you guys want a more in-depth breakdown on entry, exit, stop loss, then let me uh, let me know with a comment down in the description. Maybe I'll post a video on the free Telegram for that in specific. And last but not least, guys, the Day Trading Institution is going to open up on January 13th. So if you guys want more information to come learn from me directly, trade with me live every single day, and join the four week four weekly webinars that we do, then just hit the link in the description, daytradinginstitution.com apply and you'll find more information on the next course uh launch there anyways guys happy holidays and i'll talk to you guys in the next video